that he's not sure of himself. And he doesn't think just by being at his best, in the best way he can fight, he should win the fight. Very he has good. to do something special. Very good observation. And here's Pacquiao doing something special, answering with solid punches. And Bradley not being as elusive as he was and for the first time. And Bradley, really in a world of trouble here, mouth open, inviting him in and taking some big shots on the chin. A lot of energy expended by Manny, but he landed the shots. Tim kind of out on his feet a bit, took a lot of punishment in that seventh round. Now with Pacquiao beginning to make a statement, it's up to Bradley to try and turn this thing around. Or the intensity that Manny talked about all week, he's got to keep it right here because he's doing well right now. This is round number eight. As you know, it's scheduled for 12. And Bradley coming out, swinging hard punches, focusing on Pacquiao's midsection. And to Larry's point, Manny doing a good job of boxing and picking his spots to be aggressive in sports, which at 35 is a smart play. And Bradley letting him get away. And Bradley backing off now in the rounds that Bradley fought well, he was so much more the aggressor. He's catching punches again, powering with his left hand instead of driving up the back foot. Of course, what he's trying to do is get himself in position to wing that right hand again, hoping he can catch back yet. You might see some welts on the right cheekbone of Bradley. Look, nothing to be concerned about, but it shows he has been getting hit by that left hand. And he sets up right in front of him. Watch for the winging right hand of Tim Bradley because that's how he thinks he can win this fight. He's not boxing the guy. He won't start slugging. I don't think at this level of the game that you can beat quality fighters just by winging and hoping. You got to break a guy down. You got to set things up. And that's more or less what uh, Manny Pacquiao is trying to do. And doing a decent job of it. It looks to me from some of the gestures of Tim that if he were to win the fight, he wants to show this guy up, and he's not doing it. No, I, I, well, well, much has been made about Bradley being a runner in the first fight, and him not manning up, if you will, and wanting to exchange with him. So I think he's trying to prove he's a tough guy and that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pacquiao. But he's not doing it. Or Pacquiao's not letting him do it if he wants to do it. Look at that. What is that? It's not effective as what it is. And again, Bradley appears to be very proud of himself, but he hasn't landed anything. He's not going to win this round. And if I'm a judge, I'm not impressed by those shenanigans. Well, no, no, I can hurt you badly. And those little rabbit punches can't help either. Seconds ago, Tim gets a light left hook in there. Closing seconds of the eight. Looks like a first round few out there. Back out, didn't really have much of a spurt there. Let's see if he closes out. And... But it's still enough for me to win the round. Well, Bradley didn't do much of anything, so you got to give it to back you on my opinion right. there. Manny, stiff jab. Watch the watch the body language now. It's him. Watch this. He almost staggers into the ropes and does. Now we get ready to go to round number nine, and Pacquiao is out in front on all three of our scorecards. According to Joe Diaz in his corner, though, he's telling Bradley that he won that last round, but it was close. Yeah, don't. He said, don't give him a chance to win on the benefit of the doubt. 
right, here we go. Round number nine in Jim Wayne Garden Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pacquiao, Bradley. Nobody's been down. Both guys have been kind of shaken on different occasions. But more recently, Tim Bradley. Pacquiao doing an excellent job of boxing this guy, as Larry pointed out. The same way he did against Rios, who just cruised the victory there. Bradley wants to land the big blow. He throws the right hand. Bradley's still winging punches. And, you know, it, it just strikes me that man, uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao is a fundamentally more sound fighter. He, he's not trying to win on his athleticism, as Bradley often seems to be. And that's why he falls. He, he, he falls off balance. balance. Sure. He's, he, and that's how he hurts his feet. Not because of socks or lack thereof, because he's off balance. Pacquiao keeps him moving, and that's how you sprain an ankle or you dislocate feet, whatever the case was. On that particular occasion, I believe he stepped on his foot. Now Pacquiao on the assault as he comes forward, trying to land shots on Tim. Tim walks him back, and he has to separate them. But it's all Bradley on the offense here now. He got the... Uh, he caught that. I said it's all in the back. Good shot by Pacquiao. Pacquiao loading up here. Look at this flurry. Tim again throws a winging shot. The, the difference is that, that Bradley is winging his shots. Uh, Pacquiao is shooting his shots. And Larry, that was quite the flurry. <laughs> and those hands are still fast at 35 with five, six punch combinations. Quite impressive to see. With a minute to go in this round, and with Pacquiao controlling it, he looks terrific. Terrific. One of Pacquiao's best rounds. But Tim, even in the all of that hurricane that was on top of him, he still went back to winging one big shot. And it does get him off balance, in spite of the fact he was stepped on, as we'll show you in between rounds, and had him falling into the ropes. I feel because Tim had some success Early around, winging the shots. He actually caught him with a big looping right. He's now banking on it as opposed to maybe setting it up well, he's or letting him fall into something. Well, you know, like Larry went back to uh, Mario. He's not trying to break this guy down. He's hoping to catch him with a big shot. And, you know, Pacquiao's really, really a good boxer. Because he was caught once by one Ben Will Marquez doesn't mean he can be caught again. Exactly. It's something special. Big round for Pacquiao. We'll show you the the foot situation here. So this happens often with southpaws and orthodox fighters. Pacquiao sort of feet got a little tangled. I don't know if it was necessarily a step, but feet a little tangled there. Pacquiao comes at you at so many angles. And being a southpaw, it's bound to happen. And those hands were flying. A lot of punches landing. Some weren't, but a lot were. Bradley managing to do a little damage of his own, but for sure. the most part, Pacquiao was most effective. Well, now with three rounds to go on my score sheet, Tim Bradley is at the stage where he needs a knockout to win. Uh, or at least some knockdowns. He seems very emotional in there. That's rather, a good word. That's a good word. Rather than poised and calculating. Um, Hence the tactics, or yeah. the antics, I should yeah. say. Yeah, he is emotional. He, That's he, a very good observation. He seems a little worried. He's coming out aggressive as he has every round. And he needs to be aggressive for the full three minutes, and he needs to land something big now. That's what he's wanted to do the whole fight. And if he doesn't do it, he's not going to win the fight. Now, this is where Pacquiao, in the last fight, a lot of people accused him of fading and Bradley's punch output. Well, in the really last fight, I thought that Bradley started to box him more in the late rounds, and that's when he did better. Uh, or maybe got credit for some of those rounds because he was doing better than he had earlier. And, and this is, I've never seen Bradley, I don't know if sloppy is the word, Larry, but not as poised, I, let's I, say. Yeah. You know, you use the word poised. Larry said emotional, and I think they both, that's the situation. This guy is 
really emotional in this fight. And, and the other guy's a, such a terrific boxer. You can't get away with it with Manny Pacquiao. And with all the attention and the focus and the people and the hoopla, Manny remains composed and doesn't let the atmosphere really get to him. Well, just remember, that, you know, he fought Morales three times, Barrera twice, De La Hoya, Hatton, Marquez, <laughs> Marquez four times. Um, God, those were wars too. You know, <laughs> he's he's been at this rodeo before. Oh, and that was a beautiful straight left right on the job. Badly, and he took it well in another one. Missing shots, look at those timing shots by Manny Pacquiao. Great left hand, that's his power shot. Caught Tim again. Things aren't working for Tim Bradley right now at all. Another big straight left, left hand. hand right through. That's the way a southpaw fights the right hand and fight it. Straight left hand down the middle. But he tries it him off the ropes. Bradley trying to counter over the left, looking for the left and trying to do something um, off of it. One of the reasons that Manny hasn't had knockouts in recent fights is that fighters have started to try to look for that left and daring him to beat him some other way. Manny having a lot of success with that left hand tonight. Well, he taps him to the light left. I don't think that's going to get you to win the round with 17 seconds to go. Tim clocked him with that one. And, and whether by design or not, Manny has been closing most of the rounds better than Bradley, and that somewhere along the way counts. I agree, Larry. I get it 98-93 in favor of Pacquiao. So do I. So I, Bradley I mean, would definitely need a knockout now. I only have Bradley winning two rounds. Uh, I have him winning three, so. Watch these counters now by Pacquiao. Beautiful left hand. Switches. He's on the other side of Pat Bradley. Another look. Top of the head on the left. And that exaggerated movement was much to this man of Bradley. Big left hand by Pacquiao. Well, Bradley said that if 